Okay. <laughs> Just the final saga. I've actually took the resistor completely out now, so it's actually connected directly to uh, the battery, to charge the battery. And again, we're running at sort of, yeah, yeah 0.85. Right, battery voltage is currently registering at about 60. 59.9 so it's dropping you know the, it's probably just the accuracy because that's actually saying 60 now and that's saying 60.3 so it might be a DVM accuracy or you know wiring or something I don't know but and I've got a little can you see that meter behind which is showing a dial right the most important thing is the current right which is uh, there's kind of 0.2 volts 0.25 volts difference between those two meters right and uh, it the thing is is it, it it's it's rounding it because it's actually there's an AC component which is not being seen here in fact if I actually change it let's change it to show the AC component there we go AC plus DC which is actually 60.6 .6. the battery is getting low on that that's where the display is going yeah, because what it's doing is it's, it's showing AC and DC. The AC component is what? Let's see it. There's the AC component, which is actually quite low. I thought it'd be much more than that, but it isn't. But that's kind of an average, though. Yeah, but that explains the difference because that's 0.15 AC. This is showing 60.5, but if I actually show the DC component directly, 60.7 versus, well, 60.4. And the difference is, is because it's, it's the averaging, because it's an average, right? They should be registering the same. But that's, that's actually quite a successful test now, because we actually have got that charging without any ballast. It's directly connected to the battery, and we're using a triac to pulse mains uh, using pulse width modulation directly from the mains, rectified mains. Well, it's actually, it's not rectified mains. You're using PWM and a triac to actually pulse the AC before it goes through a bridge rectifier and then that then gets sent to the battery. So this is a direct mains charger, which is working, yeah. And I could probably take that up to 2 amps. <coughs> I don't know if the triac's getting warm. Let's feel it. Uh, the triac's warm. It's warm. Yeah, because the current we're drawing through it now is 2 amps. Well, it's not 2 amps. What minute was. It's less than an amp. And that's a 25 amp triac. So we'd, we'd need a sticky heat sink on it. I think the, uh, the bridge is getting warm. Oh, yeah, that bridge is getting quite hot. Yeah, because the bridge is... Also, it's uh, it's not a high power bridge. I think it's 10 amps or something. So all this stuff's getting warm because it's it, we're sending through power through it, you know. And uh, yeah, light bulbs getting warm, of course. <laughs> but that's working. It's directly charging the battery, and that's actually pretty good. It's got the battery voltage up to 60 volts. Yeah, I'm quite happy about that. And it's less than an amp, which is a trickle charge. But the thing is, is, of course, is I can actually take that up now to the 3 amp limit of my fuse, you see. It's not limited by a transformer at all. Now, the triac and the bridge rectifier are going to heat up. I could put heat sinks on them to cool them down. This one, no, that one's uh, a low power one just to, to power the Arduino. But this is working, you see. And I actually have got some stuff in here to detect current and voltage, which I've not got in line yet. Excuse me, I don't know where it's going to go. But that's what I want to do. I want to try and get current and voltage. Uh, you can see in the circuit what it is. I've got a resistor and a um, this is a, the diode for a, um, um, an optocoupler. And then I've got a transistor on the other end, which is switching uh, on that. So what I want to do is see what voltage is coming in from that. Because the idea is it's supposed to be illuminating this, um, uh, the diode, which this transi transistor will pick up on, and then you can detect what the voltage is, the mains voltage is, on the output. But you're going to need like a, 
you'll need a capacitor or something in there as well beforehand so that you get an average uh, voltage because it's just the peak voltage which is 340 volts basically that's all you detect there because that would detect it all the way anyway that's something else and what I also want to do is detect the current which I've got in here as a, as a Hall effect basically using a Hall effect to detect the current there and put that in as well so we can detect both voltage and current and the idea is the MCU then will regulate the charging yeah but that's not working yet I'm going to deal with that later